Imran Khan, former Prime Minister of Pakistan, has signaled his willingness to engage in talks with the military. He has urged the army to designate a representative for negotiations. He has also accused the Pak government of trying to create a wedge between the army and his party. In what is seen as a reach out to the military, Khan seeks to clarify his stance. He has asserted that his past comments were merely constructive criticism rather than accusations against the military. Speaking informally to journalists during a court appearance, Khan articulated his readiness for dialogue, urging the army to designate a representative for potential negotiations. The arrest of the former cricket star turned politician in May last year sparked unprecedented scenes with protesters breaching the heavily fortified army headquarters in Rawalpindi and vandalizing a senior general's residence in Lahore. The aftermath saw a crackdown on Khan and his followers, with numerous corruption cases filed against him and mass arrests of his supporters. This heavy-handed response was widely interpreted as a clear message that challenging the army's authority was a line not to be crossed. Now, from his position of confinement, Khan appears to be Lee calibrating his approach. He emphasized the importance of criticism in a democratic society, framing his past comments as part of his essential process rather than an attack on the institution. The big question is how will the Pak army respond to Imran Khan's overcharge? And for more on this, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has sent us this report from Islamabad. While in a departure from his stated position, Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan has expressed his willingness and desire to negotiate with Pakistan's powerful military establishment, demanding that the military should be appointing a focal person with whom he can negotiate with. Now, he was speaking to reporters inside uh, his jail court, but when pressed that uh, he, Imran Khan himself, had been hurling accusations on the military in the past, he went on to defend them, saying that these were not allegations, but rather uh, his form of discontent that was shown uh, and that uh, the military has behaved as that bad uh, child in the family, but it's all part of the family in that he would look forward to negotiating with the military. Now, it remains to be seen whether uh, the military will be responding to these uh, demands from uh, uh, the former prime minister. That's a question, uh, the answer to which only time can tell. Anas Malik Islamabad, Pakistan, for View on World is One. For all the latest news, download the We on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.